Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So today I just want to show you, because I'm making some belly bands um, Using little embellishments um, So these are my Christmas ones, so I've been working in my Christmas journal today And I've made some little belly bands and I just love them So I thought you could probably do them with other little mini embellishments too So of course I had to do it with my butterflies because they are just gorgeous And look at that, so this is going to go into my um, folks of the forest journal I think which will look really really lovely now the way I've made them I've popped them onto some string now what I've done I've just plaited it um, just to make it just that little bit thicker um, a little bit more sturdy um, and the, on the butterfly one I also added some of this lovely leaf trim as well so this was lovely this was in my stocking as well at christmas as well as some lovely string and all sorts of lovely bits and pieces um, of embellishments that i can use in my journals and my um, little embellishments that we make so i'll show you how to, to do the basic plaiting bit so the christmas ones i've actually plaited in a little bit of sort of like ribbon as well in with them um, which I think are lovely and these are just my little embellishments which I've shrunk down um, even smaller um, which I love and they're the same size ones as I did for the little paper clip embellishments so I had some left over and I just thought they would look really really lovely and of course you can have it going across your page as well so that would just sit on your page like that um and here we go i've got one of my santa letters and then that would just tuck in and then this would attach it at the top and the bottom of your page um which i think looks great and of course um you can have them going this way as well and just tuck something in but i just think they look really really good and of course you don't have to you can pop them stick them right down onto the edge of your pages um just like this one look that was our um little garland one and i just think that looks great on the side of the page so i'm going to pop that to the side i'm going to show you how i just plaited some of the string um, so again i've got this one which is a really nice thickness this is it's three millimeters um wide diameter so it's and it's you get 34 meters on here so that is really really good and then i've got lots of this thinner stuff as well so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a length just a little bit longer than your page, all right? So, because we're going to plait it, you just want it just a little bit longer so you've got a little bit of extra to um, play with as well. So I'm just going to take three strips of this, cut it off. I'm going to use my glue gun as well. So... I need to make another Christmas one and then I'll show you how to make the butterfly one because I just think this is so so pretty and if you're doing like a little garden journal or again if you um, bought the papers for the folks of the forest I think this would just look beautiful in it so I'm just going to take my glue gun and just glue the top piece together just like that just to make it sort of flat like that just hold that like that stick that down just mind your fingers because it does get quite hot but us crafters seem to have asbestos fingers don't we okay so then i'm just going to hold that like that and then we're just going to sort of plait it now you can stick it onto your desk with some tape if you like but i'm just going to hold it and plait it like this so just pull it down just loosely plait now again you can put um, some red in there if you want to but I'm just going to leave this one plain because I've got two with red in I will pop a little bow at the top and the bottom but I'm just going to um, do it like this just pull it so it's nicely doesn't all um, stick together so there we go but it's really really simple and I think by plaiting it it gives it that little bit more strength doesn't it a little bit more rigid like that so i'm going to hold that down let me just pop these over there i'm going to get one of my pages 
let's just get the back page on here now what we want to do we want to have it so it's from the top down here so we just need a little bit more we want to make sure it's the right length on our page because these are ones you can't really alter too much so you need to sort of like do it the same size as your page so if you pop it on the top and then just pinch it there so that's about right pop that over there out of the way and then what I'm going to do is just hold that like that now the glue's on the back and glue the back like that just put a little bit of if you use hot glue then it tends to be sort of like quicker to dry like that or you could do a few little stitches in there if you wanted to cut that end bit off because we don't need those and then that should be the right length like that let's just chop a little bit off the end perfect and then what we want to do now let's put these pieces out of the way and the butterflies we want to get our little embellishments like this just a little these ones are from my friday freebie as well um, so i'm just using the little baubles that we had in the friday freebie so i'm going to put one of those in sort of like the middle so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue gun on there Again, the glue gun will hold them on there a little bit better so just stick that down really really simple to do actually we have one there just stick them down like that little one here again if you can use any embellishment so if you have got lots of different embellishments which i do have which i will be making some of these for other journals as well because um, i just think they look really really nice just make sure you sort of like print two two off on a page two sheets onto one page or i'm not sure i think i maybe made them even smaller there might have been three or four to a page I'm not quite sure so you'll have to experiment on how big you want them should we have this little tiny little Father Christmas there oh no that's too much like that one isn't it I need some more I need some more pop that on there and that sits there look at that so so easy to do and then oops a little bits of glue everywhere and then what I'm going to do I've got some red ribbon here now this is what some of my gifts were wrapped up with from my daughter so I'm putting it to good use I'm going to pop it into my Christmas journal and she also wrapped up with this lovely green as well isn't that lovely couple of different shades of green there which is beautiful which will work perfectly in the old-fashioned Christmas journal so little bow like that just chop those little bits off and then that will just sit on top like that and again you can pop some stickles on there um, some little bows in between some little shiny bits on there but doesn't that look nice these remind me of when I was younger um, in at Christmas we used to hang our Christmas cards because people used to send more Christmas cards I think when they were when we were younger than they do seem to now in little um, pieces of sort of like string going down the wall um, they used to hang the Christmas cards on so this is what remind this is what these remind me of let me just pop another little bow at the bottom and then we will make the lovely little butterfly one let's just pop that on like that chop those off and then 
can just stick this one onto the bottom there. and then I have got one of these to go in each of my signatures and they're quite flat so they're not going to take up too much room on there but I just think they are lovely so I'm going to pop those to the side and then I will show you how I do the lovely butterfly one so let's get this red out of the way now I'm going to use this again but again you can have lots of different pieces of different twine on there um, and plait it in or you can have a piece of ribbon if you don't have any any um, twine or string you know that's suitable um, but I just think they're lovely so or anything but as long as you have something that's sort of like quite quite um, strong just so it holds it because you're going to be popping papers and things in between aren't you underneath so you need something a little bit stronger to hold it down so we want three lengths of the same size as your sort of page then I'm going to again I'm just going to pop some glue on there like that I'll tell you what, they would look lovely with little flowers on as well, wouldn't they? You had some little die cut flowers, they would look beautiful. So I might try that with some flowers as well. So let's just plait this one down like this. Now I do have this as well, which is one that's already plaited and it has the leaves in it. I didn't think it was a bit soft so I'm not sure I think maybe that will look better as, as sort of like a belly band going across um, but it wasn't quite strong enough I don't think to hold it going down your page because they have to be a little bit longer don't they so keep pulling it up as you plait whoops so there we go gosh been a long time since I've plaited anything. It's probably my daughter's hair. There we go. A bit wibbly wobbly. There we go. Just down. Again, you can attach it to your table if you find it a little bit easier um, to do. But this is this sort of rope is quite rope string is quite stiff. So it's quite hard. Right, let's measure it against this one. A little bit more. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think that's probably about right. Let me take this. Just glue the end piece like that. Leave that for a second. Just so it doesn't fall apart. I'm going to, oh gosh, I'm going to um, glue gun this to the page anyway at the ends. So not that it will come off. Now I've got to start throwing a few things away as well. Like little bits and pieces that I really don't need. So that's one of my aims this year is to not quite keep everything so that's the right length isn't it all these little tiny tiny bits where I used to keep them quite a lot um, but like little bits of string and stuff I really really don't need to keep because I end up with too much stuff right so that's that now I'm going to use this which is lovely and he did so well this Christmas. He knows exactly the sort of things that I like. I got lots of lovely trims and embellishments and all sorts of things for Christmas. I was going to cut that off there. Let me measure that again. Pop that there. Let's cut it off. 
be a little bit too long but that's okay we will pop a little bit of glue there stick our first little leaf down am i in the right place yes i hope you can see this did i need to go in a little bit further pop a little bit there oops there goes my glue gun on the floor okay so i'm just sort of like sticking every other leaf down as we go like that just a little bit of glue on every other leaf as we go up this stuff's got a mind of its own i think like that and then I think we've just got one at the end which fits perfectly there we go looks a bit like a beanstalk doesn't it a little jack in the beanstalk but it looks prettier when you've got the butterflies on it though doesn't it okay so here's my beautiful butterflies. Feels like I have used these for ages. Ages and ages. There we go. What should we do? Should we put this one in the middle? That sort of the middle. I'm going to just take my awl and just push that down. I think probably when they're in the journals they will probably go a little bit flatter, won't they? Um, so how many should we put on here? Should we put one there? And then we can have this one at the top. Or should we have a smaller one? Then we'll go for a little bit of a smaller one at the top. push it down make sure they're nicely stuck on oops a little glue gun strings little one there that on there just love them I think they look so so pretty Oh my gosh, look at all these little glue gunny bits. There we are. I'm using the glue gun because I want them to stay on properly. But I suppose I could probably use Fabri-Tac as well. Let me put you down here. One there. Oops. And then we will have, oh, I don't want to stick it to the table. Should we have a little purple one? Just there, like that. Love them. Of course, we can pop lots of bling on these, can't we? I think I've stuck that to the table. That's better. And then pop some little ones in between. Have a little bit of one here. But again, if I had some flowers, I would probably pop some flowers in between. Or you could pop some little fabric roses. Actually, I do have fabric roses somewhere. But that can be for another day, and that can be for another one, can't it? Let's put this one down here. In there. Like that, little one here. So I've done sort of like alternate, sort of like a big one and then a small one. This way. Which looks pretty, doesn't it? And then we'll have a little, little pink one there. 
just like that. I've got these little stringy bits everywhere. Could do with all oh, that. There's a tiny, tiny purple one. And we'll just slot him in there. Perfect. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'll pop you out of the way. Now I've got some stickles, so I'm going to add a little bit of stickles onto there. Um, and then, of course, you can just add whatever you like to them to embellish them. So I'm just going to, I do love my stickles and I think it just gives you a nice little sparkle on here, especially for butterflies and sort of fairies and things like that. Just makes it look so, so pretty, doesn't it? Now, these don't take very long to do either. We do like quick little makes, don't we? It's just on the tips of the wings, down the middle, like that. Little bit of sparkle. So, once I've got my Christmas journal done, I will move on and make a pretty little folks of the forest. Now, this is, I think are going to look lovely so that's the papers again so I think they will look beautiful on there won't it look at that love it absolutely love it so they are going to be perfect and I will do some little ones going across as well so there we go guys there is another one so these ones are ready to go into my Christmas journal these ones are just beautiful I love them um, so they will be ready to go into my other journal um, and of course if you've got any other small embellishments just add those just layer them up as well you can probably put a few more on there if you wanted them a little bit thicker you could pop another few in between like that or you could even use what have I got these are my little stickers look they've got all little bits of Christmassy stuff on them could probably use these little ones in between as well couldn't you like that so they look quite pretty don't they so i've got all of these on there so once they are in my journal i can add little extras to them so there we go guys so i hope you enjoyed that let me just show you if you can see this up close i'm not sure whether you can actually see that but i will put a close-up of them um, at the end of the video as well because i just think they are beautiful all right guys well thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye